Second thing that I don't get that I want your help on, an apology yesterday from ABC presenter Lisa Miller, who I think has crumbled to the Twitter mob. On Monday, she outraged them by suggesting that tennis brat Nick Kyrgios ignore fans who he said were abusing him racially. Here she is. There's no room for racism, but I do wonder whether it's good for him. Like, there, there will be other people who will say, you just got to ignore that, you've got to block that mm. out if his main aim is to go there and win. But yesterday, Lisa Miller offered this grovel after she trended on Twitter in a very bad way. I want to address something I said yesterday that I regret. We were talking about Nick Kyrgios and the appalling and unacceptable behaviour from the crowd during his match with Andy Murray. I didn't intend to minimise the abuse that was directed to him. What I said and the clumsy way I said it was wrong. I'm human. We mess up. I made a mistake yesterday and I am sorry. No one should have to deal with racist taunts. I don't want anyone to be in any doubt about how strongly I feel about this. Now, Kosha, no one should have to put up with racism. Absolutely correct. But was groveling like that really necessary when all she was saying is, don't let the haters distract you? You know, she's probably doing what her overlords and the culture at this point in time that we live in, Andrew, are demanding of her. <laughs> and look, I can understand the people who say that she was maybe a little bit inartful or clumsy was a word she herself used in her wording. That's fine. That can simultaneously be true with the broader point she was making about resilience and tuning people out and focusing on what you need to do. But I think the bigger takeaway for me here is our culture is sort of downward spiraling into this dichotomy, um, Andrew, where there's sort of, we're apology obsessed and at the same time, we're very forgiveness poor. And so what that leads to is a situation where so many people have apologized, high profile people, Megan Kelly with NBC, Piers Morgan with ITV, um, Ilya Shapiro with Georgetown. There's so many examples of this all around the world where people apologize and still they are not forgiven. They're losing high profile positions. And that's a very dangerous situation that we're in right now as a culture where we demand apologies and we're very, very stingy on forgiveness. That is so true. Tim Smith, you actually had to apologise yourself recently, but uh, what do you make of uh, Lisa Miller uh, having to apologise there? Was it necessary? Well, well Coach is exactly right. Look, the honest answer is Lisa Miller would have been... Lisa Miller said, I suspect, exactly what Nick Kyrgios' coach would have said to him, which is, mate, concentrate on the ball and block the crowd out. Uh, she didn't say anything wrong at all. She said exactly what he ought to do in that situation. That's not excusing the crowd's behaviour, by the way. I mean, I, I don't think Lisa Miller is, is needed to apologise in the slightest. She made the point that a, a tennis professional, any professional sportsman, has to block out the crowd, has to focus on the ball in this case. That's not to excuse the crowd's behaviour. And I don't think Lisa Miller was. And it just shows you how pathetic the ABC is, particularly their management with regards to issues of race and identity politics. I, I, when, when I looked at that clip this morning, I actually genuinely couldn't work out what the fuss was all about. I, I really couldn't. And it just shows you how pathetic we've well, become I can tell you what the as a nation. Is about. Yeah. Well, part of it is, 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 is race. Anything race is a trigger issue. But the other thing is this. A lot of people on the ABC audience seem to think there's just closet conservative uh, and they're out to get her for whatever imagined sin. That's really what's happening. Kosher Garda, Tim Smith, thank you so much indeed for your time. Really appreciate it.